Today we're going to talk about seven putting mistakes that are costing you strokes on the course. Most of you have a stroke that's sufficient and adequate to get the ball rolling and make enough putts to shoot a good score. But when you're on the course, you're, you're making these mistakes and it's costing you. Let me give you some help with that. Let's go. The first putting mistake is a green reading mistake. You're reading the green and the putt from too close. For instance, I'm about three feet behind this ball and you can see that this putt looks like it might break a very tiny bit to the right. So I, not much at all. I put it left edge and that's it. But look, as you back up further away from the ball, you notice, oh wow, that putt has a little bit of a hill that's gonna push the ball to the left. I didn't see that before was because I was too close. So number one, back up further away from the ball on your reeds, squat down, put a knee on the ground or, or squat quickly and just look, the further you are away from the ball, the better chance you have to see the undulations on the green. So the second mistake that I see people make when they're putting is under reading the break. I'll give you an example here so that you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So this putt I think has a slight break to the right, not much, but I want you to notice what happens and actually we're going to miss this one on purpose, but I'm going to this first time under read the break. And so it's breaking further. You notice as the ball goes past the hole even, it's breaking further out to the right. So you notice as the ball goes past the hole, it's breaking further to the right away from the hole. If I had overread the break a little bit, even if I miss, it's coming towards the hole. So I'm going to intentionally give this one a little bit too much break. But you notice as it passes the hole and starts to break, it's moving closer because I gave it too much. If you're going to air, most, most of the time I see people not give it enough and the ball's breaking away from the hole. Third mistake I see people make a lot of times on the green is negative thoughts. I have a buddy who hits a great approach shot and he gets on the green, he goes, yeah, I can three putt from anywhere. No, don't do that. You don't want that kind of stuff creeping in your head. In fact, here's what I do when I go on the green to putt, and this helps so much. All right, I really want to make this one. It matters. It's a putt for birdie, and I really want to sink it. Now that thought is gone, and I immediately go into my routine. We'll put a link in the comments section or the description section on the video that we recently posted on how valuable a putting routine is, but I want any negative thoughts or any worrisome thoughts or anything else out of my mind except for my routine. Read the green, I've got a checklist in my brain there. Get up over the putt for my setup, I've got a checklist in my brain there. I, I don't have time to think about, oh, I need to make this one or, oh, wow, this is gonna be tight, I've gotta worry about this or that. No, I'm going through my checklist and then stroking the putt. I don't have time or space for negative thoughts to creep in and neither do you. Stop doing that. Focus on the task. Our brains do really well at focusing on a job. We start thinking other things and we're confusing our subconscious and it doesn't know what to tell our body to do and we miss a lot of putts because of that. Fourth putting mistake that I see people make is not reading their miss. What happens is they stroke a putt and they miss. They go, oh, ah, doggone it. Why did that break that way? Whatever they're doing. The problem is you should be when the putt, you know it's not going in, you should be watching to see what it does after the hole. Okay, so I watch that putt after I miss. 
here and it actually broke that way slightly after it. Now I know that it's a tiny bit uphill because the putt came this way, so I'm not going to miss this next one. Of course, that's a tap in. So I'm going to, on purpose, miss this putt so it goes significantly past. But here's what most of us do. We set up and we putt. You guys see not only that ball went mostly straight, but both broke very slightly to the right. That tells me coming back, I need to go on the edge of the hole so that it breaks that way and it's going in. Most of us are like, oh crap, I hit that one too hard and we're not watching. We don't know what the putt does after the hole, so now we mix the next one. Just simply reading your, your misses will prevent a whole lot of three putts for most of you. Fifth mistake I see a lot of people make on the golf course is what I call peaking too soon. When you're standing over the ball, you want to see and you make your stroke, you want to see the putter face hit the ball. For me personally, if the putt is seven, eight feet or less, I almost never hear the ball go in the hole. I wait for that wonderful sound of it going in the cup that we all love. You don't want to peak. Keep your head down until you see the ball strike the hole. And I really don't like that head down phrase, but keep your eyes fixed because what happens is you peak too soon, your head and neck are connected to your shoulders, and you pull up and the way that your shoulders move, they're a 75% rotating joint. This shoulder goes back and this one goes forward and you've pulled the putt offline or pushed the putt offline. So keep your head and your eyes on the ball. Don't peek too soon. Listen for the sound on those shorter putts. Sixth mistake I see people make so many times on the green is they baby short putts. Let me show you exactly what I mean there. So this is about a four or five foot putt. And so many times, you know, we're afraid it's a little downhill, the greens are fast or whatever, and we baby it. And here's the problem that happens, and I see this a lot. I hit that one too soft and left the putter open and it pushed to the right. On those short putts, don't be afraid to pick a spot in the back of the cup and roll the ball straight up that line. One last thing, and this is going to seem like an odd one, but a big mistake I see golfers make when they're putting is aiming at the hole. Now, I know you think that sounds off, but hear me out. Never aim at the hole. Aim at a specific spot in the hole. In fact, this is a short putt. But I want to illustrate what I mean. This is a big hole. I don't want to aim at that. I want to aim, and you can see on this putt, I believe it's going to break a little bit, but right in the back of the cup, there's a piece of dirt, or trash there. See that right there? My focus is on banging the ball because I don't want to baby this short putt. My focus is on making the ball go over the front of the cup and hit that spot. It's the concept from shooting that we all learned if we were around any firearms or hunting or shooting sports as children. Aim small, miss small. If I don't hit that exact spot, the ball still goes in the hole and that's what you want. And I just did all the things that we talked about. I stayed still, I never saw that ball go in the hole. I aimed it where I wanted it to be. I hit it plenty firm enough and made a solid stroke and didn't baby it. If you'll work on these seven mistakes that a lot of golfers make, it'll help you avoid those mistakes and make more putts. Hope this video has been helpful. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, click on the bell notification, make your comments below, share it with your friends, and in the meantime, here's to you making more putts.